Recently, claims have re-emerged suggesting that the IL-276 medium military transport aircraft may start serial production as early as 2026. Reports indicate that the Aviastar facility, a division of the Ilyushin Design Bureau within the United Aircraft Corporation, will receive substantial funding for technical upgrades needed to support the manufacturing of the IL-276, as well as the larger IL-100 transport aircraft. But what are the actual prospects of meeting such ambitious deadlines? Below is a considered analysis of the situation, evaluating the project's history, its current condition, and the potential dangers that could hinder the plan. The IL-276 is a medium-sized military transport aircraft designed to replace outdated platforms such as the Antonov-12. It is engineered to transport up to 20 metric tons of cargo or paratroopers. It offers a moderate operational range and updated onboard systems. The initiative has existed for nearly two decades. It was originally planned as a collaborative Russian-Indian project. In Russia, it was named IL-276, while India designated it as the MTA, the Medium Transport Aircraft. In 2015, India withdrew due to disagreements over engines, financing, and technological issues. Russia continued independently. In 2018, several preparatory steps were reportedly completed, including digital systems, landing gear, the cockpit, navigation equipment, and other components. At that time, officials stated that the first prototype flight would occur around 2023, with mass deliveries beginning in 2026. The IL-276 was designed as a lighter, more agile, and more cost-effective transport aircraft. It would serve as a reliable workhorse for missions that do not require the heavier IL-76. Its published specifications list a payload capacity of up to 20 metric tons and an approximate range of 2,000 kilometers, or about 1,243 miles, when carrying cargo. The range is considerably greater when flying empty. It was also intended to include modern avionics, open architecture onboard systems, digital flight instruments, and improved ergonomics. As a successor to the antiquated Antonov-12, which has reached the end of its operational life, the IL-276 seemed like the optimal replacement. In December 2025, the governor of the Ulyanovsk region announced that the Aviastar plant is ready to begin production of the IL-276 and IL-100. Under these plans, the plant is expected to receive 48 billion rubles for technical upgrades, modernization, and workshop restructuring. The workforce is projected to expand from roughly 12,000 employees to roughly 20,000. Officials also stated that the design process for the IL-276 is ongoing and that the enterprise is preparing to start production. On the surface, this appears credible. A production facility exists, funding is allocated, and both regional authorities and the manufacturer claim readiness. Despite these assurances, many aviation analysts caution that the project remains mostly conceptual. Beginning serial production in 2026 is considered unlikely. First, there is no credible evidence that a physical prototype of the IL-276 has been built, let alone flown. As of 2025, the aircraft remains largely a conceptual design. Second, developing the IL-276 requires significant technical adaptation and workforce restructuring at Aviastar. The plant currently manufactures the IL-76MD-90A and services large aircraft such as the Antonov-124. Transitioning to a completely new model presents major challenges. Third, success depends heavily on government decisions. Without firm contracts and guaranteed purchase quantities, the investment might not be sustainable. Limited state resources can result in delays or minimal implementations instead of full project execution. Finally, even though officials emphasize the necessity of replacing the Antonov-12 and predict mass production beginning in 2026, Financial, technological, and bureaucratic obstacles may push the timeline back several years. 
As of late 2025, the status of the IL-276 shows a mixture of official commitments and ongoing challenges. Authorities have announced that production will begin at Aviastar, supported by 48 billion rubles in funding, and an expansion from 12,000 to 20,000 workers. Earlier predictions stated that the first flight would occur in 2023, with serial deliveries starting in 2026. The aircraft's specifications, including a 20-ton payload, a 2,000-kilometer range, and modern avionics, remain unchanged. Yet no prototype has been publicly confirmed. This absence of a physical aircraft has led some experts to call the IL-276 a phantom aircraft, existing mainly on paper. To begin full serial production in 2026, all design documentation should have been completed well in advance. Preliminary designs were expected to be finalized by the end of 2018 to allow system integration and prototype construction. The initial first flight was scheduled for 2023, but as of 2025, no prototype has been revealed, indicating significant delays. Transitioning the Aviastar plant to this new aircraft requires extensive upgrades. Machinery modernization, new tooling, potential construction of new workshops, workforce expansion, and supply chain preparation. Any delays in funding or logistics could stretch the timeline. Government contracts usually impose tight price limits, forcing manufacturers to prioritize low costs over innovation. This increases the chances of later modifications and operational problems. Economic and political factors, including sanctions and budget constraints, can shift funding priorities. The committed 48 billion rubles may not be sufficient for continuous progress. Realistically, 2026 will be focused on preparing production facilities, installing equipment, expanding the workforce, and possibly building the first experimental airframes. Actual serial deliveries will likely begin later. If Russia successfully advances the IL-276 to production, several benefits may follow. It would replace the aging Antonov-12 fleet. It would improve logistics and mobility for cargo, paratroopers, and equipment. It would reduce the load on heavy aircraft, such as the IL-76 and Antonov-124. This would mean fuel savings, greater flexibility, and better cost efficiency. Its modern avionics and modular systems might appeal to civilian logistics, humanitarian missions, or export customers. This could expand its economic potential beyond military use. However, if deadlines are missed or the aircraft is rushed with shortcomings, the Antonov-12 fleet will continue aging. Maintenance costs will rise. Reliability will drop. Transport capability gaps may widen. A compromised aircraft could require frequent upgrades, suffer high life cycle costs, and face persistent technical problems. Continued delays may also impact confidence in Ilyushin and Russia's wider aviation sector. Recent declarations have revived the IL-276 initiative. Funding has been approved. Production dates have been announced. Regional leadership expresses optimism. But the fundamental reality remains uncertain. There is no prototype. There is no flight testing. Transparency is limited. Technical and financial challenges are significant. Serial production beginning in 2026 seems optimistic. More likely, 2026 will mark the early stages of preparation or the construction of the first experimental aircraft. Full serial production may occur later, depending on progress and political commitment. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.